the situation like in Abakeleke uh, Teaching Hospital? Well, uh, Abakeleke is not uh, different from other health sectors generally, but I think uh, things that are needed for essential services are on ground, and we have made our case known to the federal Ministry of Health, and I think uh, with what is happening, mm. they are seriously working around the block to make sure that uh, more funds are released to take care of uh, the, the, the gaps. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yes, Doctor, yes. Yeah, before we let you go, we would want you to give uh, perhaps uh, those who are, uh, those that are benefiting from the facility, uh, the assurances, you know, uh, of your uh, institution and, of course, the personnel uh, to uh, take up any eventuality in the case of rising cases of the COVID-19. Yeah, thank you very much. I want to use this opportunity to thank our board chairman and the other board members and the staff of um, uh, and that's the Bremen Federal University Teaching Hospital, formerly Federal Teaching Hospital, uh, Apatliki, because of their commitment. You see, our center, as I told you earlier, mm. we've been treating uh, cases of uh, violent uh, ailments, major violent hemorrhagic violent diseases, uh, nasal fever is endemic. That's last year. Mm. There was an epidemic of yellow fever. All these things were handled in our hospital. Our center is ever ready, and we have committed uh, staff. Our mm. prayer is that uh, COVID-19 will not come into a police There should be uh, come, there is no cause for them. The mm. staff of the hospital, they are very ready, they are very committed. In fact, when we don't see how many people are volunteering to give their services uh, in the hospital, you see a lot of people that are very, very committed because they are used to it. Uh, and the city of Nassau Fever is not an incident. Mm. And just to prove to what I'm saying, you see, many people don't even know that uh, we have a epidemic of uh, Nassau Fever in the, in, the, in, the, in the country, just mm. because of the way we are handling it. I would not uh, finish this without thanking the doctors, without bothers, MSF, uh, Belgium. They have been of mm. immense help to the hospital and to Nigeria at, uh, at large. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Emeka Ongwe, uh, the Chief Medical Director, Federal Teaching Hospital, Labakaleke, uh, one of the hospitals that had its laboratory upgraded, you know, to uh, test the suspected cases of COVID-19 uh, in Nigeria. It has just joined, you know, the network of the laboratories in Nigeria, uh, the spread across uh, some part of the country. Uh, there are many others yes. who are currently uh, under uh construction was uh you know being upgraded too in the north talking about uh the ones in kaduna kano uh meduguri you know and so on uh so uh we appreciate your inputs and perspectives yes, on the platform thank you very much just to correct that you don't pronounce my name completely it's dr omwe oga emeka omwe oga emeka emeka thank you emeka, yes i want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak i also want to thank the presidential task force for this coronavirus mm. and to thank our state governor for yeah. what he's doing and to pray mm. that those that already have been this will recover as fast as possible amen and even those who are asymptomatic and are yet to present themselves for that those that are due to them because mm. this is the short way yeah. of reducing this the spread of mm. this, this, this. Thank you and God bless you. Thank, you, very, thank you very much once again, Dr. Ameka Amwe. Uh, well, uh, Oga. Oga, thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> right. Uh, so, on his behalf, uh, we also want to, uh, or rather, we want to appreciate him more uh, on his perspective uh, on the platform. Uh, he told us, of course, uh, what uh, it is like for the people of the South, uh, East and the South, uh, South. Uh, to have this uh, laboratory center and uh, level of anxiety you know on the part of the people and the uh, level of preparedness also on the part of the health uh, institution there uh, to contain the spread of the virus uh, we'll take a short break and when we return uh, we will be also engaging our audience just like we used to uh, to hear their perspectives on the um, the, the measures that have been taken, you know, at national and of course sub-national levels uh, to curb the spread of uh, the coronavirus. We'll be back in a moment. Please stay with us.
uh, is still dialogue and of course we're still tracking the COVID-19 pandemic and the interventions coming uh, from uh, several levels of government. Um, just like I said earlier on, uh, the threshold, I mean, the, the, the trajectory is not, uh, um, you know, declining, rather it is rising. Looking at the figures globally, uh, we've now gone beyond a million uh, infections. Uh, and of course, the rising deaths are also scary, even though there are appreciable level of uh, recoveries. Uh, especially back here in Nigeria, we've seen, uh, you know, one, uh, on, on just one, uh, in just one event, we've seen 11 people recovered, you know, from this dreaded virus uh, in Lagos. Uh, so that's encouraging. So far, we have 20 recoveries and the death toll is still uh, at two. Now, the distribution in terms of the number, you know, of the affected state in Nigeria, I said we have 12 states, including uh, plus now the Federal Capital Authority, Abuja. Uh, and Lagos now has 98 cases. Uh, Abuja, 34. Oshun, 14. Oyo, 8. Akwa, Ibon, 5. Ogun, uh, Edo, Kaduna have 4 each. And then we have Bauti with 3. Inugu, Ikechi with 2 and uh, rivers and benue with one cases each now that is the current uh, uh statistics as uh, released by the center for national center or nigeria center for disease control ncdc uh, so the line will uh, be open now for you to call in from where you are uh, tell us uh, your experience uh, tell us um, how you are assessing the several interventions coming from the government to help reduce the spread uh, the numbers are on your screen uh, 0803095675 uh, 0806891815 hello good morning hello hello good morning. yes good good morning hello hello good morning who do we have on the line who is on the line? Hello? Talk to us. It's dialogue and uh, we are listening to your uh, input on the program. Okay, we lost that. Hello? Well, uh, please, if you are calling in, make sure you are set and ready to talk to us. Uh, turn down the volume of your TV or better still you can switch it up so that we can communicate effectively uh, Tell us uh, your name and where you're calling from so that we can uh, You know interface properly Hello, good morning Hello I, I, I just mentioned that we need to hello Switch up your TV set Good morning. What's your name? Fine. What is your name and where are you calling from? You see, we keep saying that, um, keep repeating that you should turn the volume, turn down the volume of your TV or you switch it up so that, uh, because the echo, you know, and the, the communication gap, I mean, the, the, the speed in terms of the, uh, the communication between us and you, uh, you know, it's not the same. So, uh, switch off the TV so that you ca we can hear what you are saying. Hello, good morning. Okay. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, who do we have on the line? Okay, keep trying. Uh, the lines are free and they are also on your screen. Uh, the idea is for us to hear from you, or, um, you know, or the authorities to also hear how Nigerians are pairing, especially those that are under quarantine. Uh, a number of states have uh, shut down and uh, people are being asked to stay at home. How are they coping? Uh, what are the measures being put in place by your respective states? Uh, how effective? How efficient are those measures? Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. 
you... the coffee is so nice and good, but uh, this government is supposed to do something and check for the people that they have more power. Y your name and where are you calling from? I'm from Kaduna. My name is Abdul Gita. Abdul, you said the government should do more. In, in what respect? Uh, Okay, Abdul is talking about palliatives, but I understand they are trickling down. Maybe uh, they are not enough. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. There is a lot of noise at the background. You cannot communicate like that. Hello, good morning. Yes, who do we have on the line? A it came from Inugu, okay, go ahead please. Okay, and uh, here in Inugu we have two cases here and the government here is not doing a, 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 a lot, they are not doing anything. Because the, the, the tricycle of my board is still carrying three people, the boss is still carrying as normal as they carry, they just only close the market and the other case is going on and it's not good, it's not advisable. The mm -hmm. government should look into the the, 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 the tricycle operators and the bus operators so that mm -hmm. we can contain this uh, situation because mm -hmm. life is very much important than every other something. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Emeka. You, are you there? Hello? Yes, you did, yeah. you did say that beyond the shutdown of the market, every other act activity is normal, it's going on normal. Yes, every other activity is going on. Only thing they shut is the market and the closing of the boundary and the closing of the boundary does not make any sense because they are just closed the main road and the people are taking uh, the bushes and the other track road to enter the inside the state. Mm. So that one didn't make any sense. So what I'm afraid of is a uh, tricycle operator that carry three for back, one for front, mm. the buses that carry for people for a seat, mm. that you look in those places and try to stop it so that the thing will stop because we'll have to already mm. and when you watch like uh, other state that doesn't have anyone other state have everything done and try to maintain their distance so i don't see the reason why in the state we allow all this all this thing to continue going on otherwise we'll have mm. more cases here right thank you very much for alerting your government to take the necessary steps uh, to do the needful yeah, in terms you. of uh you know carbon the spread uh, two cases are already in there and he is really afraid and uh, concerned uh, by the fact that uh, possible spread uh, you know could come up from those two in this cases and uh, nothing much has been done you know to restrict movements uh, everything is going on as normal uh, the authorities in that state uh, should take note and of course do the necessary uh, take the necessary steps to address the problem hello good morning hello Hello? Well, you're holding the line and you're talking. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Yes, your name and where are you calling from? Calling from Lagos. What's your name? Oh, we lost that. Um, just be smart when you call in. Introduce yourself and then go straight to your point. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Oh, you're holding the line. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, what's your name? Morning. What is your name and where are you calling from? Okay, I didn't get the name. Aisha, Aisha. Aisha from Abuja. Okay, Aisha, go ahead, please. Aisha. Yes, Aisha. Aisha calling uh, in from Abuja here. Go ahead. From Abuja. Yeah, go ahead, please. Aisha, we're listening. Just go ahead, Aisha. We can hear you loud and clear. Sorry? Okay, Aisha, what's your contribution? 
Hello? 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 Yes, Aisha, what's your contribution? Aisha. Yes, what is your contribution, Aisha? Aisha from Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Aisha has uh, shown appreciation, but then we, we had to get her inputs. Hello, good morning. Yes, who do we have on the line? Abdullahi, uh, hi, how is Kaduna this morning? Hello? Hello, Abdullahi, how is Kaduna this morning? Uh, Kaduna is fine. Okay, you are under quarantine. How is it working? Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead, Abdullahi. Hello? Hello? Just go ahead. What's your contribution? Okay, lost it. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Uh, I've come for a little too. What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Mrs. Bankole. Mrs. Bankole from Lagos. Go ahead, please. Ah, you didn't get, you didn't see the food packs? You know, you put here this thing. One thing cut me, me and my children. Ah, serious. Where, where, where are you locating? I'm um, for Abulado. Abulado from Lagos State. Yes, yeah, so you haven't seen anything in terms of government support? Nothing, 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 nothing. You want to come out, you want to go outside. Can you imagine crazy people? Just crazy people from Manda Bridge. All those platforms of today will put something for road. Hmm. If you police police can't get they want to go out like this, they will collect money and pack. That's hmm. what they used to do. Hmm. So 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 you are about to go out now because uh, you cannot contain I mean you you are hungry. No, if I want to go buy food for yesterday, they use anything but they use uh things to blood the road. Hmm. Okay, but we heard that the government is distributing food packs, you know, to vulnerable. Maybe you're not part of the people that are qualified. Hello? No, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Uncle, they catch me and my children now. Okay, so we hope uh, the governor of Lagos State, uh, Saun Olu, is uh, listening to you. Uh, from Abu uh, Bule Ado, you know, in Lagos. Uh, yes. Uh, that she hasn't had, uh, you know, the, the, the people there haven't uh, accessed any of the state government support uh, so uh, it is important you know to communicate now the governor and the authorities concerned uh, need to do something to ensure that uh, this uh, supports are actually reaching the the target people well we take one last call and then round up on the show this morning hello good morning hello yes good morning good morning yeah what's your name and where are you calling from Abakar from Jaws, you know, Jaws has shut down the borders, but I think people are still moving around. How is it? How's the situation in Jaws? Well, sir, the situation in Jaws it looks so mild, sir, because the movement is, uh, in fact, they close the borders. Therefore, mm -hmm. we are, we are, the situation looks so cautious, sir. So, so what are you saying now? Um, are you saying that the government is not taking the necessary steps to contend the spread? Okay, uh, there are several measures that can, you can take uh, personally, individual measures, uh, self distancing, uh, social distancing, and so on, hygiene, uh, personal hygiene. How are you? Um, what are you doing in this uh, respect? Yeah, regarding, to, regarding to that issue, sir, for mm. the social distancing and the mm. and all those hygiene, washing hands, and all those things, we are all practicing those. those. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for your perspective uh, on the platform. Uh, it's just calling in from Jos, uh, one of the states that are also taking measures to contend the spread. They've shut down the, the entry points and, of course, uh, 
to curb, I mean, to ensure that there is no infiltration of the virus. So, on the on behalf of the viewers who have called in to share their inputs, and the CMD of the Abakaleke Federal uh, Medical Center or the Federal Teaching Hospital Abakaleke, uh, who has earlier given us his perspective on the upgrade of uh, that hospital. On their behalf and the technical crew here, my name is Shafiu Suleiman. Do have yourself a wonderful weekend ahead. Baru dapat dimensu, engkau tercerah.